Okay, we're going to do some testing now on a couple of vehicles for RF Signature. The first one is a Ford Escape. Not mine, it's a 2012 Ford Escape. And we're going to go in here and do some checking. This might surprise you, actually. Okay, we're inside. Let's turn on the Acoustometer. Acoustometer AM10. All right, for those of you who haven't seen one of my videos before, this top number in the upper left-hand corner here is actually the peak volts per meter, and it's a peak lock. So the highest level this meter ever obtains will be shown on here until I turn it off and reset it. So it's about at a, the, the background here is at about 0 .06 right now RF. We're about three miles from the nearest cell phone tower, but there's other RF, or RF sources all over the place, as you've been finding out if you've watched my videos. Okay, I'm going to check the key fob first, and we're going to lock the doors. Peaked at 0.26. Now, that sound you heard was from the acoustometer. It wasn't from the key fob. Let's, let's unlock the doors. Same thing, about 0.26. So, every time you touch this, it's got an RF signature. Very brief, but it's there, and it's not a lingering RF signature. It doesn't stay on. Only when you press the button. Okay, so now, we're going to have to turn off the acoustometer to reset that number. And back on again, so we're going to be back down to zero or near it. And we're going to try to see what happens when we put the ignition in on. Okay, keys in the ignition. Now we're going to turn on the ignition. We're not going to start the engine. Okay, immediately we get, and I'm going to have to turn this down because that's very annoying. We get it. Obviously, there's a surge there. It lasts for several seconds. Jump to 0.76 volts per meter. And it continues to do this buzzing. Now, remember, the engine's still not on. If I take the key out, ignition's off, still doing it. Let's put the ignition back on. Okay, ignition back on again. And we're gonna start the engine now. Engine is running. And what you'll find is there's no difference. It's sending out this fairly high RF frequency, which to me, Based on my experience with the acoustometer, sounds very much like Bluetooth signature. I'm not saying it's Bluetooth, but I want commenters below, because there's a lot of people that know a lot more about cars than I do, and maybe know something in particular about this car. Maybe you can comment below and tell me what you think this is, because the owner of this car has no additional accessories that they're aware of that would suggest some kind of additional feature that they purchased with the car. But obviously the car is doing something. Okay, the ignition is, the engine's off, but the ignition is going to be back on again. And what you're going to find is at some point, this will actually stop uh, coming up here soon. We're going to let this go through its cycle. Whatever it's doing, even with the key out, it goes through this cycle when you first go into it to start it. And it really doesn't take much after about two or three minutes of inactivity, of the, you're not using the car, this, will, this cycle will start again. Is it a GPS system looking for a satellite? Is it a Bluetooth? What is it? Somebody might be able to tell me. Why do you have to put an RF signature in a car that has so many wires to begin with? Why do you have to do some kind of wireless thing? Okay, now it seems to have stopped. So it goes for several minutes until it finally stops. Two or three minutes. I have to look at the video and find out. But it doesn't do it now. Let me start the car. The engine is running and it doesn't start up again. Off, ignition out, or key out, back in, ignition on, and starting the car. It doesn't do it again. But if I leave the car set for several minutes, it goes through that whole cycle again. So somebody can tell me maybe what this is doing, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back on, okay, ignition on, I'm gonna reset the acoustometer. Okay, resetting, so we're back down to zero or near, near it. And now we're going to do a five minute test just to show you what this car does in five minutes time. So we're gonna speed up the tape. It'll only take 15 seconds from your perspective. Okay, after five minutes now you'll see that Basically nothing. Uh, 0 0.08 is the peak in that whole five minute time. 
and we're about three miles from the nearest cell tower so this is probably just background what you're seeing here and basically there's RF background virtually anywhere you go uh, but nothing basically happened what I want to do here before we leave this car I turn this off let's reset it get that back down to zero or as near as it ever gets and I'm gonna this is a Garmin we're gonna actually check the Garmin here um, let's plug it in first Okay, we've just plugged in the Garmin. Now, while we're waiting for this thing to boot up... XM Fight okay, we're not getting a signature from the Garmin. Now, I do get a signature, and if you look at my other videos, you can see that uh, you'll get a signature when you turn on a smartphone that has GPS. But in this case, we're not getting a signature from the Garmin. Ready to navigate. Here, I can just push something here, where to. Push something that, she, that they had recently in their system. Just press that and go. And you'll find, that again, it does nothing. It's telling me to continue on a particular road. So, it's operating right now, and we're getting nothing. So, the difference between self-smartphone GPS and this Garmin is markedly different, which you'll see if you watch my cell phone RF testing video. Okay, while well, this car decides to keep running, and plug this stuff, maybe it'll stop when it open the door. Oh, it did. Okay, that's all I had to do. These new cars. Boy, take the computers out of the damn cars. All right, uh, the next one will be uh, a little more basic. It's a basic Ford e150 cargo van now let me turn this off and back on so we reset this uh, it's a 2000 uh, 2003 this is the newest thing i got to check with uh, that, that i actually have all right inside the cab cabin here we have nothing right now of course let's turn on the ignition if i can get it to go on sometimes i have problems with this Okay, ignition is on. The engine's not running, but as you see, we have nothing. And starting the engine. We also get nothing. So my findings with this, and actually using this while I travel, uh, I'm finding I get nothing, apparently, from the van. I get things from driving by people's houses and cell towers and other things along the road which sometimes I can't figure out but we don't get anything apparently from the van itself in normal traveling engine off so basically that's all there is to show here I don't need to do a five minute test so let me know in the comments section what you think what is the deal with these new cars and what kind of RF signature are they giving off thanks for watching